Hey there, fellow flippers, and welcome back to my channel. I am Marana, the Gaming Grandmama, and I have a new project that I'm starting today. This is from the um, HGTV um, expansion that came out, gosh, probably a year ago, maybe a little more than that. Um, this is actually a duplex. What are they calling it? The two-story semi-detached house. Basically, we've got a duplex. Um, so I have purchased this, and we will head over and give it a look and see what we got. I'm wondering if it will allow me to knock out the center wall and like make one big make one big house um, to unlock this house it had to do a a cleanup for okay for a family so I got to see a little bit of the of the layout when I did that um, but yeah so this is one side that they have crammed completely full of furniture It's actually kind of clean. There's no, you know, most of the time there's um, trash and rubble and cockroaches. <laughs> so, yeah, this is actually pretty clean. Huge backyard. Oh, I was going to see if I could break through the, if it let you demo the walls. Ah, okay. So it's going to have to stay as a duplex. That kind of in a way it limits the creativity as far as to what you can do with it and then up the stairs nice bedroom in here bathroom Little laundry room and a bedroom. All right. As the other side is a would it be mirror image of that side? So we'll have the living room kitchen the other half of the backyard Okay, I'm going to start cleaning it up and see what kind, well, if I get the right tool, I'll start cleaning it up.
Okay, so I intentionally left the interior decorating and designing of this one um, out intentionally because I wanted to kind of wait and let you see the finished product and what it ended up being. So let's go ahead and head over to the final um, walkthrough. So welcome to um, Happy Bears Daycare. Um, I decided to do this as a um, daycare center on one side and the owner of the daycare center lives on the other side. So let's walk in and check it out. They have a little a backpack and area for their shoes. This is a little kind of a sitting area. Um, if any kids are a little upset, the parents can sit there with them until they're ready to go on about their day. And the fish. Children always love fish. Um, this is kind of a down downstairs play area. Um, just mainly for the toddlers and older pre-K age. And then, of course, have a little eating area. It's not large because the, the different ages, they'll kind of eat in shifts. And the high chairs for the baby. This is the downstairs bathroom. And through here is just a little, um, a small kitchen just for doing snacks and lunches and things for the kids. Um, just wanted to keep it really simple on this side and then of course you can't have a daycare without a nice play yard and they've got the seesaw and the swing set and the sandbox and ball pit and all of the things that you need to keep children entertained out of doors so this was a pretty easy um, garden <laughs> area to do it was just really throw out a bunch of toys and call it a day so let's go upstairs for the upstairs and little pictures on the wall um, for the upstairs it's kind of broken out a little bit more by specific ages this is um, of course the nursery area here so you've got the cribs and the rockers and the changing tables um, and let's see, what did I have? Four. I've got four cribs, so the daycare can handle up to four babies. This is kind of the younger toddler area with toys that, um, for when they're just starting to get around on their own. I did not realize you could sit in these little, in these little chairs. Uh, that's interesting. Um, this the second floor bathroom is a little bit bigger, um, more little step stools and a potty training device for the the toddlers. And then this is the preschooler room um, where they have more more toys and little sleeping cots for nap time and books of course and the little rug so this is the daycare kind of a fun little fun little area I love the little the little book bags all right and so the next side that we'll go into a little porch some benches ferns this is kind of the owner side of things um in my mind i have it as like you know I'm a woman in her late 20s early 30s owns the daycare um she has kind of different decorating styles. She likes the real deep, rich colors. So this is more of her regular sitting room. 
than the downstairs part. So she spends more time up here in the big comfortable furniture with the books. Um, and then her bedroom is <laughs> um, lighter pastel colors and, um, you know, the soft pinks and the more abstract paintings. So she really kind of has different different styles um, depending on the room she's in. I love that mirror. That's probably my favorite mirror that's in the the game right now. And you can do it in so many different sizes too. And then the bathroom. The bathroom did, it went through um, a couple of redecorations. I had originally started out with a cobalt blue and yellow kind of in that and just kind of ended up going with the pale pink on everything so this is the upstairs of the living part of the duplex this room turned out really well I hid the light switch there <laughs> I didn't want it to be just like stuck out on a wall somewhere, but I really did. I love the way this, this particular area turned out. So now that we'll go down, she has a piano. I like to think she gives piano lessons um, in her desk area. This goes into the little dining area and kitchen. So nothing too fancy. She's probably not big cooking, you know, just kind of something light and quick. And so the backyard on this side, I kept more as um, a vegetable garden. Raspberries, blueberries, carrots, lettuce, strawberries, pumpkins, zucchinis. Um, all of the things like that, kind of more of a very organic garden. I um, picture this person as enjoying organic stuff and fresh stuff. So yeah, that was, it took me a lot longer to do the house than it ended up being size wise, <laughs> but um, it was a it was a fun project once I decided on doing the daycare kind of the the split with the daycare and then the daycare owner side so we'll come up here this can be the um, the dealing room we'll put the house up gonna send it into the garden um, I'm gonna do a crop garden um, I think because I mean that's that's mainly what's what's in it is just the the vegetable garden doesn't really fit in any of the others. Not bad. I can't complain with that because there really was no equipment. So yeah, twenty five percent added value. Throw it on the auction and see what we've got or what we can get. Okay, so that's that's better actually than I kind of thought it would be because I spent a lot um, on furniture again. <laughs> Let's see, we can negotiate a little bit, just a little bit extra, cover those remodeling costs and let's see all right so they take it $122,721 profit not bad I will take that all day long so let's see these before and afters it was a weird one 
yeah, I didn't really do anything at all. Oh, so yeah, oh, they didn't do any of the other side, the other bedroom and the other sitting area. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up for the daycare. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part of the daycare remodel. Um, until next time, take care.